Juggernaut silence the Witch Doctor, aggro lane, leave TA in mid, and put Batrider on the safe lane. The better trade. Maybe that was also the reason too why um, he ended up uh, picking up Temple of Assassin. Mm -hmm. with, with Refraction and Side Blades. Yeah, definitely. There, there weren't any other reasons for the Temple pick. It was definitely a counter pick from Ferrari. Well, Luo's That's dead. This will be first blood. First blood. It's like oh, another boy, Juggernaut spin and a Malediction first. paralyzing cast. So he has, yeah, he has. Actually, only level DDC's 3 because trouble. burning denied everything. He's in a lot of trouble. That's a haste stream yeah. for the Dazzle. DDC, the only choice he had was to try and deny himself to the Alpha Wolves. This. But he wasn't going to make it in time because of the Poison Touch. So it's we, good that Bristol didn't one. get the kill. It's good for them that Bristol didn't some free XP. That shouldn't happen, but I mean, you can't really predict what he's going to do when you don't have a ward. Yeah, he had the vision. And they're, they're Looks like RTK really on the bottom lane is going to go down. Went to the Firefly, line up with Malediction oh, burning. He has to split, but this means he's they're going to find a secondary kill. Alana, he only came to help and he'll end up being collateral. Yeah. Three to one is uh, now on the board. Is he home lose two? Yes, Kerry. It's better if your core is like TP or, or don't TP. If he can assess the situation for you, because obviously you don't have time to click assess and TP. Your TP is always going to be late if you go for that. Well, here's the run now on top of Luo and Juggernaut. He got die. close enough for the Omni Slash. Never nice play. See my face. Yep. Very well played from the Juggernaut. Good job. Good job. Uh, but at the gonna same time, RTK's got Jack all. Oh, we're only going to find Lana get this guy. and Chuan. Well, if he can get the stun, well, he's going to start with a Hex. Oh, the There's moves. your stun, and then one raise and a little bit of a drain. There's a lot of support oh. from Ehome. That's going to be... They have the split, though. They can fight this. That's a nice curse. Ah, Faith, that's not burning as much as I go thought it was going to. Now, e home. Well, there is that Juggernaut ultimate burning. Going to split himself up, turn around oh, for the fight. Splitting. And that's going to be the finger of death to kill off the Juggernaut. Double kill in for the Shadow Fiend. Not actually being the death from the Finger of Death. And they get the stun. Templar Assassin winding up the Requiem. He is being protected. The RTK, however, being controlled up. He just sat there. There's a triple kill in there for Ferrari. And maybe now he can finally die. The Shallow Grave keeps him up. The Silence has also dropped. So his four heroes going the way here of IG. What is Gonna make it even more. Inflame wants to run away from this one. They do at least kill off the SF. So with a cool spray starting up in flame, this is the worst position he can be in because the stacks are going to keep going there. He can stay in this for a while, but one more. Where is it? There. There's the mana. Oh. oh, he needs another one. Yeah, he's close enough. He's in range. You got him. That's going to be the kill. And ten now to four in favor of Invictus Gaming. That's the strength of the team fight power from IG early on. It's very scary. Wait, is this Roshan or is this something else? Fortified. I hope it is. I think they no, should snipe those. They, they didn't get the Juggernaut attack. inside the smoke, so they have to use three players to go around the back in the uh, smoke I mean, to catch out Burning. But Burning's got they split have off splits. cooldown. Yeah, I don't like this. They're and gonna keep you with that now. Graves, even if you're gonna only slash this one, Fade's gonna shallow grave himself. Burning blink down. He did get silenced up, but they don't have enough control. So Burning, work. he gets split off. Dazzle does die. Support's coming in from the Bristol pack. And where's your control? They use it on the Juggernaut. He's already used his Omni Slash. Templar Assassin might be thrown up towards the air. ROTK na now getting Nasal Good all over. A Templar Assassin again forces him up and towards the air. ROTK, he still wants to stay in this fight. Luo is just quill spraying him up. He has to keep his distance. Chuan with the finger of death. There's not That's enough sick. damage to kill the Templar Assassin. Dropping him low, this healing ward, maximum duration, but the Juggernaut, he's out of life and out of time. Or is he the flame break? Pushing back far enough the cool spray. It doesn't reach up to him, but you're on five hero retreat. Oh, Front's on cooldown. Have... That's why Bernie couldn't get the initial slow. But with a spin away, it looks like Ehome will get out of here with only losing the Witch Doctor. And Luo is out of mana. Ferrari's not looking much better with the lasso from RTK. Oh. Luo forced back under the tower. The Bell Strike working, but Burning blinks into the clap. Slowing down RTK to Ferrari. Number one race. That weave is going to remove all the armor here from Ehome and buff up IG. In yeah, fact, are they I mean, going deeper? Uh, yep, burning. YOLO, underneath the tower. And he gets the crit. He actually got the Drunken Brawler. So he better pick off DDC and potentially get back out of here in time. The Malediction is on top of him with a Shallow Grave. That's not no enough mana for, for it. He's short, right. but the Mech Charge is already up here for Ferrari. They'll take out the Tier 2 tower as the fight will come to an end. Things, wheels, off the rails for Ehome. I had Chia given so much. The TP for OTK. Now they know the battery is behind, so you look at the positioning, Schwan instantly goes left, but they see the Juggernaut as well. Where's this jump? There's your global silence. They're dragging Luo in as deep as they possibly can with the curse as well as well. There goes your Jugger ultimate, but the, as you are saying before, where is this damage going to come? The weave is already starting its effect. Oh, and the mech charge went, so Lanham's going to drop. There's your finger of death to ensure there isn't not going to be any kind of real death ward effectiveness in this game, in this fight for Ehome. 
Yeah. But it's still ING it's... forcing high ground. The Brewmaster ult is going to wear off now. So when Flame can try and turn and fight, they did lose their tier 3 tower. And the Aegis yeah, they... on the back of Ferrari. Maybe they, there is enough combos to keep fighting this one. ROTK, Flame Break needs more space. Is not going to get it. Templar Assassin cannot, cannot intimidate IG in any way, shape, or form here. They use everything they have to use. They use Lasso, they use Global, they use Only Slash, Death Lord, and they they remove 500 HP on the Crystal Age. Well, that's what happened. Yeah. I mean, this is a heavy outpick, honestly. Yeah, we said it during the draft. They got outpicked again. In game 2, it was a heavy outpick, in game 3 as well. And they could, if they play that, you can always win in Dota. It doesn't matter. I mean, draft is very important, but you can win with any pick if you play it right. You need to understand what's. It's so like one hero and just nuke him as quickly as you possibly can. That's that's the only way that's going to happen. You've got to commit both Omni Slash, Meld Strike, Curses, Malediction, the whole shebang just to pick attack. off one person. And this is the yeah. person. It's Luo on bottom lane. So now, Lasso, Malediction, or oh, everything. Okay, they've got enough. That was actually without Omni Slash, they found that kill. But at the yeah, same it's, time, it's they just lost kill. their Templar Assassin in mid, so yeah. It's a good kill. I mean, they got 1k 400 gold for this. It's it's nice. The Juggernaut has 3k 5 gold now. 1k 400 gold for this. It's it's nice. The Juggernaut has 3k 5 gold now. Maybe they can hold. I mean, but even if the Bristol dies, like the problem still remains. Look at those four guys. Like you can't even push them back. Yeah. They have global. They don't have TA. They, they don't I like the TA this. when it goes for Deso. They, they can't. They can't fight this. Their yeah. weave is halfway through his duration. They got plus 12 armor on this Brewmaster. Global silence will happen, but where is your damage going to come? Malediction is nice. Ball off Death Ward here from Lanham, but Burning splits up, gets the first on over on top of Lanham. Templar Assassin did buy back with the Requiem of Souls plus the Finger of Death. Chorn's the one to pick up the double kill here. Inflamed to then be controlled up by Burning inside that Brewmaster ulti, and that's GG. 20 yeah. minutes is all it takes on the clock. For Ryan G to put the final nail in the coffin, and we have our final three teams for the D2CL China. It will be VG Gaming who is sitting in the grand final. They'll play up against the winner of teams two and three, and that is now LGD, as well as Invictus Gaming. That's the first game tomorrow starting at 10 CEST. Should be a cracker. I uh, think it's fair to say that the three best Chinese.